Welcome back to another video. This is BT Plays here, and today we are on the Crew Motor Fest, and we are seeing if planes are actually any good in the Crew Motor Fest because they are obviously back in the game. But before we get into it, don't forget to like and subscribe if you are new, as it does help out the channel. But yes, planes and boats are back, and just like the Crew 2, if you click R3 or the right bumper in, you can see how to change all the vehicles, so to change from a car you just press a square, you press triangle for a plane and then circle for a boat as well. Um, but yeah, planes are in the game and there are a few air racing events or plane events in this game. So we will check one of them out to see if they are actually any good. But firstly let's see if there is any new uh, planes in the game because I know some of them got transferred over. So vehicle category, as you can see, we've got all the vehicle categories here, but right at the bottom is plane. So if we close that, we have, I think most of these are new. I don't think that one is, but I mean, um, old. I think that one's new though. But there, they're all pretty much from the crew too. So there's not many, maybe, I'm not sure. I'm not a big plane person, but they are quite cheap. I don't know if I'll get another one or not. But let's give this thing a little fly around first. We are at the Honolulu airport. And the controls have changed a lot from the crew too. It doesn't help it's literally pitch dark outside. But you have extreme mode if you hold down square on PS5. And that allows you to do barrel rolls and loops very slowly. <laughs> there we go. But without that, you can't, like look, you can only like bank to the left or the right, so you can't barrel roll, you can only barrel roll, uh, barrel roll by um, holding down square. Right, obviously, if you click in the left bumper, you have the smoke still, um, but you can go into the normal plane camera mode that we all know from the crew too. I think it's just one in, where is it, it's called dynamic, there we go. Static one isn't all that good. And obviously you do have the interior cameras as well. But let's get into an event where we use these vehicles or just the planes. Uh, I will see you at an event in a second. Right, so here we are at the event. As you can see, the event layout you can change the... Oh no, you can't change the event difficulty on these plane ones, but that's fine. But you can change the vehicle. So there is a lone one which you get, which is this one. And I'm going to pick it because the perf level is just a little bit higher so we'll go for that one and I have it for some reason as well I think you get it for completing this event so that's alright but here we go into the event and yeah these vehicles don't feel the same as in the Crew 2 I mean they are very arcadey in the Crew 2 they've sort of I mean I need to get used to them still but they've definitely done something to them but we'll see uh, see again light them or not and why are we going so slow go on take off there we go so is this dynamic no there we go prefer that camera Welcome but yeah these events are pretty much air racing events and that's i mean that's pretty much all i have You're done in terms of air racing i mean like the plane Look, events all i've really done are these events because i have i've only played like a couple hours or so of this game i haven't completed every playlist I know there is a playlist based on boats and planes, so maybe in there there's some aerobatic races or maybe they're just more races like this, I'm not sure. But so far the only plane event I have seen is this event. And this plane does not feel good Follow one bit. Because I'm not pressing um, square By to the way, enter extreme mode, that's why. Must that's the only annoying thing with these planes, you have to hold down mountain. square to get into these look into like a knife angle like why like why can't we just go back to the crew suit that's one thing the crew suit did all right the planes felt bad but they were like easy to control this is quite hard to control and i've only played it like a couple times but yeah like i was saying there is other playlists in the game that i have not i've only completed like three Two, three playlists, I think. So I've here. not really touched like the game. I think there's like 15 playlists overall, and they all have their own be. events. So there, I need I to complete them, and then we'll see if there is any other playing events because it's not like the Crew 2 where all the events pretty much like 
careful when you die. They're all you pick up speed. in their own sort of discipline. They're all scattered on the crew uh, on the crew motor fest. They're all like completely scattered across all these different playlists, which I mean, to it makes you want to complete all those playlists and then you know get to free roam and then use what other vehicles you want. But the downside of that, obviously, is if you want to just solely focus on drift events, you have to go through all of these different playlists the just to find the the drift events that you want to do. But to be fair, I need to complete this event anyway, because I need to get some parts for this plane. Because this, this guy, this ghost, this Radux guy, he is what, like, yeah, 48 seconds in front of me. He's probably got a max out plane somehow already. It's literally the second day of release. I don't know how you have a max out plane, but he probably does. But no, the views as well, the views are quite nice. Obviously, flying around in a plane, you can't beat it. It was like that on the crew too, there were some nice sights going around, um, flying around in a plane, you can see some nice sights, because obviously the whole of America, and now you've got some breathtaking views as well now, so, you know, planes aren't all bad, boats on the other hand are, I mean, not a fan favourite for me really, and obviously, like I said before, there is a whole playlist based on boats and plane events, so I can't wait to do them, I really can't. <laughs> I mean, the, the plain ones, they're, they're not great, they are a bit boring, well this one is anyway, because you are just flying around, getting these checkpoints, oh, and that's Probably about it, because this floor. whole playlist is that about exploring Hawaii, and exploring the island of Oahu, so it's not very competitive, it's just making sure that Enjoy, you get to grips with the map, that's all this playlist is, whereas maybe the the, uh, the boat and plane playlist is more competitive and you actually have to race against other planes. But for now, this is the only event I have. And I mean the planes, like I said, they don't feel overly too good. They feel very odd compared to the Crew 2. I still like the Crew 2 feel of the vehicles. They have put more effort in and they do feel a little bit less arcadey, but they're just a lot harder to control, which I mean could be a good thing, and obviously I need to learn that. Uh, but the vehicles have changed. On top of that as well, you also get some beautiful views. Look at that sunset or sunrise. Sunset, sunrise, I don't know. I don't know my uh, my suns properly. But you get some nice views. The only down thing, yeah. This is the only event I have access to right now. And I mean, it's definitely not the most fun, but who knows, maybe in the other playlist, you can tell me down below if you played the other playlist yet, and tell me what you think of them events, them Let's other plane events. Set. But for now, for I mean, life. they're just very, very average, and that's all I can say really about the plane events. But yes, they were the plane events in the Crew Motor Fest. Not anything overly too exciting, as you can probably guess, <laughs> but if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to like, and subscribe if you are new and tell me in the comment section what else you want to see of the crew motor fest and i will try and make that happen anyway thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video